Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you three of the best IPTV player apps you can use on your TV box, Android TV, Google TV, or Amazon Fire Stick. I'll share the application codes and show you exactly how to install each one using the downloader application. Before we get started, there is one quick setup step you need to do first. You'll need to enable developer options on your device so you can install third-party apps. Once it's done, we'll jump right into the installation and take a look at how everything works. So I'm going to show you how to do that in your device. Just go to settings in your box or in your TV and scroll down to device preferences. Look for about, open about, scroll down and look for build, B-U-I-L-D and you just hit that seven times one two three four five six seven you will see a notification you are now a developer after enabling developer mode now i'm gonna go to google play store and install an application called downloader open play store and just look for downloader you will find that with the first three liters D O W It's the first one here. So this is the official application. This one is not official. Don't use this one. Use this one. Open the application. Press install to install it. Okay, so once the application is installed, you just open it, press open, press OK. Okay, perfect. So I have just installed Downloader. You will also need to grant the Downloader application permission to install third-party applications using the provided code. After entering the code, the system will automatically prompt you to allow this permission. I will show you once I enter the first code. So I'm gonna show you. You just follow what I'm doing. So press OK to get the keypad or the keyboard and enter this code. This is the code for the first application. Two, seven, two, four, eight, three. And you just press the arrow or the check mark, whatever you have in your box or on your TV, and then press go. It's going to take a few minutes to install the application. So you just wait. Press accept when you're prompted. It's installing now. Okay, perfect. As I mentioned earlier, you still need to go to your box or your TV series and enable Downloader. You need to give permission to Downloader to install apps. That's what I'm going to do right now.
The name of the application is IPTV Smartest Pro. Just press install. As you can see here, I installed the applications, but I don't see them. So you just press the plus sign here. Most boxes and uh, Google TV, Android TV have the plus sign. Press the plus sign and add your applications. Let's add the other one plus the other one. So I have one, two, three apps. As mentioned earlier, after opening the application, you'll still need to grant the required permissions in order to use it properly. So let's do that. Press settings. Now scroll down, find the application. So these are the applications I have just installed. Let's go to IPTV Smartest Pro. Enable that. This is the first one. And then the second one and the third one. You have to enable those apps, otherwise they will not work. Now you can press Add Playlist. If you have a subscription, you can use the M3U playlist here. If you have an extreme code, so the most common one is M3U playlist. You just press that, enter the URL, and then you press next. You just follow the steps to set up your application. Same thing with this application here. You create playlist. Press create playlist. You can press M3U playlist to add the link or extreme code. So the same thing with the third application, IPTV Smartest Pro. Load your playlist or file URL here. Press allow when you get prompted. Enter the name of the playlist. You just give it your name, file, or M3U URL. Select this one. Enter the file URL here. When entering your subscription details, it's important to be precise. Be sure to follow the exact format, including correct uppercase and lowercase letters, slashes, dots, and other characters. Even a single missing or incorrect character can prevent the service from working properly. And once you finish entering the link, you just press add user. In today's video, I focused on sharing the installation codes for these applications. I'll be releasing additional videos in the future with more detailed guides and advanced features. I hope you find this information helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a like, sharing the video, and drop in a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.